Have you visited the Elmhurst Public Library lately? The Kids Library is a wonderful place. When not being used for library programs and classes, Elmhurst Public Library cardholders can reserve the meeting rooms. The second floor is where you can find the adult and teen collections. An enclosed area devoted to high school students provides space to create, play, share, and study together. Use our computers, or bring your own, to our work-friendly business center. Technology classes for all expertise levels are taught in the computer lab. High quality audio and visual equipment in the Creative Studio gives you the opportunity to create, record, make, and invent. You can produce real items with the 3D printer and poster printer. Study rooms provide space for studying on your own or working with others. The larger gathering room is available to reserve by Elmhurst Public Library card holders. Our convenient book drop and drive up window make picking up and returning library materials a breeze. Don't forget, Elmhurst Public Library is always open online at elmhurstpubliclibrary.org. everyone to the Friends of the Elmhurst Public Library Annual Poetry Contest. We are so happy to see you here and we are so glad that we had so many participants this year. We've had hundreds of participants and we thank the teachers of um, all of the schools in Elmhurst. A lot of teachers had their children submit poems. Um, we did our poems through email and just uh, putting their uh, entries into the welcome desk. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It's also so great to see so many previous winners. We have such talent in Elmhurst. Just a little bit of background for you. The judging is blind. We have um, 
four judges who receive packets, and all they know is the grade of the packets of the children. And it is, grade, it is judged by grade. Um, so I'm the only person that has the number that matches the names. So if anyone uh, wanted to know about that. Um, our prizes tonight have been provided by our wonderful sponsors. Their names are on the back of our uh, program tonight. So please, uh, if they have businesses in town, please think about them next time you um, are out and about. Um, Comcast will be taping tonight. Um, they will air sometime during the month of June. It will be Comcast Channel 6, AT&T UVerse Channel 99, and also on the YouTube channel for ElmhurstTV.com. If you have any questions about any of this, please feel free to call the library and they will have the information available, okay? So tonight we're going to start with our fourth graders through high school. So please welcome our first contestant. My name is Ella Glossner. I'm in fourth grade, and I go to Jefferson School. My poem is called A Dog's Perspective. Slippers in mouth, I polish them with my slippery, sloppy jewel. My owner says, bust or no. I take it to mean that he's pleased, and I lick his face. I wet his salty face until he cannot breathe anymore. Content, I trot off into the yard to dig for my bone. Time to come in with mud on my paws to decorate the floor. My owner says, Buster, no. I take this as an invitation to jump on him, to spruce up his plain old shirt. Splat, splat. I cover his shirt. Oh, so pretty. Pleased with my work, it is time to play. I go to the bathroom with, to play with my favorite toy, the white roll of paper. My owner says, Buster, no. I take this as time to play and run through the halls. Wee, hippie. I run away with him on my tail throughout the house. I'm happy to have outrun him again. I love this game of chase. Then by the window I see all my friends. I sing a song to my buddies so my owner can hear. Buster, no, he yells. I think that means to sing louder. Roof, bark, arf, roof, yip, arr. My friends outside join into the chorus. My owner covers his ears. Thrilled with my tune, I lay down for a nap. My owner then calls me, Buster, come. I hear my, o my owner open the chickeny treats. Rip, tear. I must be a good boy, because I not only got one treat, but two. I lick his face all over again, and this time he hugs me back. My name is Katie Lehman. I go to Jefferson School, Elementary School, and my poem is called Dream. Dream. See the rolling hills, farms, and plains. Oceans blue sweeping the beaches, and lakes carrying boats to the mighty rivers. The rivers flow smoothly through the green grassy valleys, and into the clouds where the gate is open for exploration. Find new lands, mountains that touch the sky, deep caves where bats fly. Find new paths, take risks, be a trailblazer. Over the hills, mountains, valleys, and plains, <clears throat> the sun rises into the sky, bringing new life to all who wish to explore. If you can dream it, you can do it. Dream. Hi, my name is Christopher Ninov, and I'm from Jefferson Elementary School, and this is my poem called The Game of Life. The Game of Life. From the time you were born, you always play a tough game, life. From birth, you always have missions. The missions start simple, sleep, eat, and drink. Once you grow older, they get harder. That beautiful, glorious smell of victory when you take your first steps. Life go goes to a whole new level when you go to the dre dreaded dungeon, school. 
Mission failed, you got an F. Level down, you are grounded. The bitter, sour taste of failure. I'm playing that game of life right now. How do you turn down the difficulty level? <laughs> My name is Maddie Wiley. My name is Maddie Wiley. I'm from Jefferson Elementary School, and my poem is named I Fly. I fly in the pages of a book with hair hot on my trail. I'm Rue, fighting in the Hunger Games. I'm Athena, seeing Pallas die. When I read, I become more than this nerdy, unathletic rule follower. I become a rule-breaking rebel who flies with Peter Pan. I can change anything I want and be whoever I choose. When I read, I fly. Avi Shah, I go to Jefferson Elementary School, and my poem is called Imagination. Imagination is a universe. It never ends. Thoughts are the planets you can build, no limits to how many. Ideas are the fuel that powers your rocket ship on this adventure. Dabble, travel through galaxies, explore, and so much more. You can imagine anything, anytime, anywhere. Prepare to launch and enjoy the ride. Blast off. My name is Melissa Black. I go to Jefferson Elementary School, and my poem is called Troublemaker. I have a kitten who's fast on his feet, knocking stuff down's his idea of a treat. Scold him or shoo him, and he droops his head and slithers away to curl up in his bed. Try to get dressed, and he snuggles your socks. Pull them away, he'll let out a sad squawk. He's the master of guilt, of cuteness and greed. If you pick up a toy, he'll jump up with great speed. Can't understand that you're rushing for school. If you ignore him, he'll act like you're cruel. Drinks out of the toilet, neglects his dish, and plays in the shower like a fuzzy fish. Chews on your toothbrush, your washcloth, your toes. Scoop him right up, and he'll snap at your nose. Rub on his tummy, and he starts to purr, and buries his muzzle in a mop, mop of fur. He drives me insane, but we're still best of friends. No matter what happens, our love never ends. My name is Salma Brobe. I'm from Conrad Fisher Elementary School, and I'm in fifth grade. My poem is called The Seed. The seed. It is a symbol of life. It is a symbol of death. Life. The seed grows. Its mother, the sun, gives her the light to grow, while her father, the water, gives her nutrients to feed her roots. Her brothers and sisters give her soil to rest on, while they all watch her blossom into what? An apple seedling. Death. Even with the nutrients and care from her family, the apple gets picked off of her branch. The apple gets eaten, one bite, two bites, ten bites, until there is nothing but a core. Then the core itself decomposes, until, again, there it is, just a single seed. Inspired by the book Heartbeat, written by Sharon Creech. Emma, and I go to Jefferson Elementary. My poem's called Winter. The flowers are withered, black and gray, cold with the frost of winter's day. G grass is wilted, limp and brown, crushed by feet, stomping down. The soil is crumbly, hard and dry, frozen with snow, straight from the sky. The fields are snowed on, white in a glow, covered deep with winter snow. The skies are bright, clouded and pale, the clouds pulled in by a recent gale. The snow is cold, frigid and deep, formed by the sky's frozen wheat. No animals prowl the frosted streets, scampering about and begging for treats. Summer and spring's warmth is long gone, both defeated by winter's brawn. Life seems to be drab, pale and gray, but really it's not just going down a break. 
The cold may sting and burn and bite, don't cower in fear, but fight. Plants will soon go back, and the warmth will return. Soon the sun will once again burn. Remember there is always spring ahead. Don't bow low, hold up your head. Hi, my name is Avery Kendrick, and I go to Emerson Elementary School. My poem is called Disappeared. I tiptoe past, whooshed out the door, use it to suspend my thoughts, my dreams. My mind soars with possibilities. Glowing, gleaming eyes peer out the glass, uninviting as I glance around, turning back a shoulder unwilling to shift out of view. My breath stops, continues its path. My sight a blank canvas, patiently waiting to be smeared smeared with possibilities and dreams. While sometimes there is artwork waiting to be painted, often what was once seen had always been disappeared. My name is Elizabeth Cross. I go to Jefferson Elementary School and I'm in fifth grade. My poem is called Life Like a Light Bulb. Life is like a light bulb. It starts off bright, cheery, and full of energy. It lights up our lives for a while. Then we get sad, we scrape our knee, and our light bulb dims, and a single tear rolls down our cheek. Don't worry, things will be better soon, and the light bulb grows a little brighter. As a smile curls across, across our once sad face. Time for school, Mom will say, for the first time on the first day. Mom says that every day now, and for as long as we could remember. We get through school, passing with A's, and our light bulb lights up brighter than it ever has before because your life is settling into place. You're writing a paper, a very important one at that. It is called a resume, and you're applying to college. Your light bulb dims because you wish now that you would have done more, and you worry that you won't get in. Guess what? You made it, graduating with a degree, getting your diploma. Your light bulb gets so bright, you wonder if it will explode. Room goes the moving van, driving away. Time to move into your very own place. Your light bulb is fr flickering because you are excited but also nervous for what living on your own has in store for you. You find a jo job, it's just the one you wanted, it's time for your first day, hooray. Your light bulb is shining brighter than the sun, for your work has just, just has to be fun. Or not, this, or not, this job is harder than you planned, your boss is putting a lot of pressure on you. You have so many jobs you can't seem to get right, but your little light bulb flickers with hope of something more. Wow, you made it through your first week, Pay paycheck time, you think you're rich, your light bulb fills with joy. You could finally buy that new purse you wanted. Or not, having your own house is more expensive than you thought. And now you think your paycheck isn't enough. Your light bulb just about runs out. You go back to work and there is a new employee. And you see him and, you, and you're as happy as can be. You fall in love and your light bulb is bright as ever. Two years pass and he proposed. The answer is yes, of course, you know. Next month is the wedding, lots to do. Then you're married and life is great. And there's a young girl on the way. Your light bulb shining bright. You, go, you grow old and you look back at the fun times, but your light bulb is growing duller and duller each day and suddenly you feel as your light bulb almost runs out. Life is a light bulb, your light bulb is out. It's because the light in you was needed, so, needed elsewhere and a loss of a light ignited a new one for all this to happen again. Life is a light bulb, light it to the fullest. My name is Kayla Lorenz. I'm in fifth grade and I'm from Hawthorne School. My poem is called The Robin. From tree to tree, from day to night, look up and see a robin take flight. Eyes black as coal, wings soft as snow, it's a common bird I know. But when it flies before your eyes, you'll see what I meant to show. Um. I'm Joel Varghis. I go to field school. The name of my poem is The Cloud. The cloud floats and cuts to the gray, gloomy, glamorous sky. Trickling water falls from the cloud as a burning asteroid, but landing as a soft feather. It comes as rapid racing heartbeats pumping through the sky. The rain pours down as hard as a raging avalanche, like globs of ice cracking when they hit the ground. But soon the light peers to the cloud, changes the sky to the brightest yellow, and the whole world lights up. Good evening. 
My name is Emily Hamill. I am a fifth grader at Conrad Fitch Elementary School. And this poem was inspired by the loss of hearing of Ludwig van Beethoven. He wrote such beautiful music, but he couldn't hear the melody, so I just think that's horrible. So anyway, this poem is called Silence. Waiting for happiness. Remembering the music. Longing for death. Anything to end my isolation. The beauty of acceptance is nothing compared to the melody Moon sings to me that I will never hear. So is there beauty in silence? I think not. Not when the silence gives room to think and my thoughts rage and battle for my focus. The loss of my love and the loss of my will. Why do I hold on? The memory? What will be my fulfillment when that fades? Forgetting and letting go be best? I am weary, stretched thin, like paper. My world is like a cloud for the sun. Where is my moon? Where is my moonlight beam shining through my dark night? I'm forced into life, unknown to all, that I am dead. My soul is dead because my love is dead. On the outside, I am peaceful. That is because I'm frozen in place, hoping by staying still enough, I will wake up then it will be a dream. This will all be a dream. But, but it is not, and, and nothing will change. Ariella Slani, and I'm from Churchville Middle School, and the name of my poem is If. If you can win, you will be happy. If you lose, you will be wise. If you can spend less time with the truth, the easier it is to believe lies. You cannot start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. If you have patience, strength, and passion to achieve your dreams, get it done. If you can change your doubtful and horrible thoughts, you can change your precious and valuable word of life. Life is not finding you. Life is creating you. Laugh at yourself, but do not aim your doubt at yourself. And life is not a solo. It is a collaboration where we would assemble the people that supported us in our times of strife. Hello, I'm Clavis Aslani from Churchville Middle School. My poem is, Your Imagination Will Be Your Future. As a child, I had a great imagination. One of my first poems came to me as a child. I am a cat who has a ball and a bat, who played baseball with a sloth and a moth. Now I am older. I know that rhyming doesn't make a poem. Its significance does. Crack, the bat is spoken. The ball floats like a moth. Delicate and small, flew straight at me. I pounced in there like a cat. Everything went slow. In my mind, everyone was a sloth. I caught it. My mind as a child is now my life. Hi, my name is Emily Eastman, and I am in seventh grade at Visitation School. Lyrics of Love. No one knows me better than you. Yes, it's true. There is no better team than me and you. You're the sun that brightens my day, shining so brightly that no clouds could get in its way. Never have you left my side. Together we can climb the tallest mountains and soar through the sky. We'll explore the world, just me and you, like Christopher Columbus sailed the ocean blue. No one knows me better than you. You are my other half, and I am yours. The dollar to my bill, and the blue to my berry. Without you, I would be ever so wary. You have always had my back, no matter the weather, rain or shine. Instead of pushing me down, you pull me up. Like a squirrel takes away a blackbird's food, you always take away my miserable mood. No one knows me better than you.
For even in the murkiest of moments, I know your smile will forever and always illuminate my path. As I sing these lyrics of love, I know that, yes, it is true, there is no team better than me and you. Um, hi, my name is Magnus McHale. Uh, I go to Bryan Middle School, and my poem is called The Golden Light. Covering the world is a blanket of darkness, encasing the earth in a cloud that blots out the sun. It creates cold that smothers the warmth. It chills to the bone, spreading through like a disease. It is the hatred, the fear, the hunger for power that creates carnage and war and brings out the worst in people. Yet in the midst of all this is a little golden light, flickering in the cloud of darkness. The little golden light sheds warmth on the, on the world. Sorry, It is the summer making a tear in the long, dark winter. Many cannot see it, but all can feel it. It has been called many names, hope, mercy, happiness. But in truth, it is just a little golden light that lies inside all of us. My name is Maria Mulis, and I attend York High School, and my poem is entitled, A Thought. You start with a thought, just one little spark, that dares speak its mind. And then it starts building, building, until you could fill a whole room with ideas, and you're bursting with pride and swollen ego. Maybe it could change the world, or even just one life. Perhaps you could be made known, your work remembered. You could be the next greatest thing with all dreams come true. Or maybe you fail, flounder, fall from your high up place. Toppling off your throne back to mortal ground, you've hit your head so hard on the way down that you've forgotten what started it all. Your dreams have been shattered, the bright light fading away. Once close, now too far. You try to reach out, but it's too late. It's gone. Hello, my name is Kennedy Ruiz, and I go to York High School, and my poem is called Glass. See through my dirty glasses, cleaned as the sun rises, my attempt to perceive, failed repetitively. Specks of dirt flock, dust of doubt, grime, fingerprints pressed upon my eyes, a fish behind glass, tapped at until the end of time, submerged alive by lies, the world on the outside. The pogo stick pounds to the sound of my beating heart. I'm on a roller coaster I can't get off. My stomach drops and drops and drops. Rain falls outside while the sun still shines. Tiny droplets synchronize to the tears from my eyes. Upon them, children ride like a water slide. There goes the kid inside, lost forever, my demise. The washing machine spins. I turn countlessly. At least I'm clean. But why do I feel so dizzy? I'm busy, reading a book, filling my mind like a bottomless cup. But the pages are wrong side up. They become origami cranes, paper wings folded by wrinkled hands. They fly, far away, my mind frays. Looking through a kaleidoscope of blues and grays, I turn myself every which way. Glass pieces rearrange. There's always a change, no constant, no comfort. I'm a fish on the deck. I am a wreck. But I cannot go back. No stability, only possibility. I jump from the crystal bowl. I tumble and roll. My heart is a hole where the known used to be. I'm out of my tank, but I'm no lower rank. My world may have changed, less caged, less staged, but I've escaped. Don't you see? I'm still me. Broke the glass. I'm free. I want to thank you all for sharing your children with us and the incredible talent that they have. We hope that they'll also um, write poems for next year. 
and we'll see you again next year. We'd like to award certificates to um, the students now, so we will call them up by grade and award the certificates, and then we have some light refreshments in the back that you're more than happy to um, join in on, okay? I'm going to apologize before I say the name, just in case. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, fourth grade, Ella Glasner, Glasner, excuse me, no, Glasner, Katie Lehman, Christopher Ninova, Ninov, Madeline Wiley, Avinash Shah, those are our fourth grade recipients. Congratulations. Fifth graders, Melissa Black, Salma Brabi, Emma Finley, Avery Kendrick, Elizabeth Kraus, Kayla Lorenz, Joel Var Varghese, I hope I said that correctly, and Emily Ham Hamill. Hamill. Now the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders are all together. We have Ariella Aslani and Clabus Aslani, Emily Eastman, and Magnus McHale. And the last two recipients are from high school, Maria Mulis and Kennedy Roos. for coming tonight. Have you visited the Elmhurst Public Library lately? The Kids Library is a wonderful place. When not being used for library programs and classes, Elmhurst Public Library cardholders can reserve the meeting rooms. The second floor is where you can find the adult and teen collections. An enclosed area devoted to high school students provides space to create, play, share, and study together. Use our computers, or bring your own, to our work-friendly business center. Technology classes for all expertise levels are taught in the computer lab. High quality audio and visual equipment in the creative studio gives you the opportunity to create, record, make, and invent. You can produce real items with a 3D printer and poster printer. Study rooms provide space for studying on your own or working with others. The larger gathering room is available to reserve by Elmhurst Public Library cardholders. Our convenient book drop and drive-up window 
make picking up and returning library materials a breeze. Don't forget, Elmhurst Public Library is always open online at elmhurstpubliclibrary.org.